Hey everybody, welcome to RPM, Rock and Pop Mandolin, your destination for learning classic rock and pop songs on this lovely little eight-string instrument. My name is Mike DeJong, and today we are doing, well, we're doing one of my all-time favorite mandolin rock songs. And uh, perhaps it's a song you've heard, or maybe you haven't heard of it. But uh, certainly it's not one of the more well-known tracks from this particular band that we're going to look at today. And the band is Styx, out of Chicago, Illinois, in the U.S., I think. I think they're from Chicago. But anyway, this song was one of their, uh, well, it's one of their great songs from the album Cornerstone, which came out in 1979, written by Tommy Shaw the lead vocalist on this track and the lead mandolin player on this track. So I will show you all of the cool mandolin chords in this song. A lot of nice minor chords. That's why I like this song. It's really nice. And I'll show you his uh, solo as well, Tommy Shaw's mandolin solo, coming up in this lesson. But first, before we get to that lesson, a little bit of business here. Thank you very much. If you are new to this channel, thanks very much for checking us out. We really appreciate you coming on board and checking out RPM. But don't forget to hit that subscriber button, that little red button on the in the lower right corner there on your way out. It really helps us to continue to grow this channel. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much once again for your support. We really appreciate it. You guys have been terrific. Uh, in supporting RPM. If you'd like to support us a little bit more though, perhaps a little bit financially, please check out our Patreon links down below. Also some Amazon product links down there below as well um, for some products that I use and endorse and of course get a slight commission from if you uh, choose to uh, buy one of them. Anyway, that's enough business. Let's take a look at this great song by Styx and Tommy Shaw called Boat on the River here on RPM. Okay, taking a look at Boat on the River, there's several different parts here that I want to examine. Uh, let's start off at the start of the song with a really cool little minor chord progression played on the mandolin, and it goes something like this. So what is Tommy Shaw doing there? Well, it's a really cool use of double stops to uh, sort of outline a little minor progression here. So we start off with this chord here, which is a double stop at the fifth fret of the A string and the sixth fret of the E string, all right? And if you play it with the open G and the open D like that, it is actually a G minor chord, all right? And uh, that's the key for this song, G minor, all right? So you want to go only catch that those two little notes there on the last part of the measure there the last part of the phrase I guess so like that so you're hitting these two the these two open strings first you're going and really slowly and I'm catching the double stop with kind of an upstroke there so so down up down up like that I do is I just leave those strings, leave those fingers kind of muting those strings in the first part of that lick. So see there, those two strings are not ringing out right there because I'm not, I'm not holding them down yet, right? So hold them down in the last part of the phrase. And the same rhythm for the next part, which just moves up a couple of frets, right? So now you're doing the sixth fret of the A string. And what is it? Five, six, seven, eight. The eighth fret of the E, six and eight. And again, still hitting those two notes down there, the open G string, the open D. Now you've got a C minor chord voicing there. So again, catching them on the, the up stroke like that. back to this G minor again and now you just shift that little uh, that little pattern there down one fret and now you've got an A chord voicing actually you could probably play it with the full A chord there if you like you see how it's the last two strings of that A chord right it's the fourth fret now the A string fifth fret of the E all right it's the same as the G minor there 
it's just down one fret. All right, and again, the same down and up pattern, right? So one more time. And then we go to this chord here, which is kind of your main, the main chord in the song. It's a G minor chord. All right, so first fret here of the A string, third fret of the E, which is your G note. All right, so. And Tommy Shaw does a little bit of pulling this finger off a little bit. So, you see that? Right, so that is the opening to the song. One more time. All right, and from there we go into the verses. So it's that G minor chord again. Take me down to the give my singing here but then we go to an F chord and a D chord and a seven note all right a seven voicing there a little bit so G minor chord take me down to my boat on the river then we go I need to get down so that F voicing which is fifth fret here of the G string third fret here of the D open A and first fret of the E right so that's an F chord and then to a standard open D chord here, second fret and second fret, right? And then right at the end of the D, he he moves, Tommy Shaw puts his, his little pinky in there to give it a seventh tonality there. So what's that? Well, that's this note here, third fret of the A string. So there's your D, just like that, just to give it that little seventh tonality. So one more time, the verses. That's the first part of the verse. The second part of the verse, he just goes to the F and comes back again. He doesn't go to the D part, okay? So... Like that. So the first part of the verse, he goes G minor, F, D, and D7. Second part of the verse is just G, G minor, then the F again. All right, so those are the verses to the song. The next part of the song, I guess you could call the chorus or the choruses of the song. And again, you're using kind of the same chords as before with a, with a couple of exceptions. But now you're going from the G minor, you're going to the... So the river, the stroke, river. So you're starting now with the F chord, the river, it's mine, the river. And you can throw that seventh tonality in there again. So F, what are the words here? It goes, it goes, uh, the river is wide, the river, it touches my life, the waves are now C. Okay, so it's river is wide, the river, it touches the you know, D to D7 to G minor again, and now to a C chord. And here's a really cool little twist. They go from a C chord to a C minor, right? You hear that? It's really nice. One of the, one of the beautiful things about this song, I love this little C to C minor. Kind of what Radiohead does in the song Creep, too. Maybe they've listened to this song before. I don't know. But anyway, one more time with the with the chorus patterns. The river is wide. It touches my life. On the sand, right? And all roads lead tranquility bay. So that's the C minor. Roads lead to the G minor. And then we go to an A chord. The frown on my face disappears to D. So one more time, the chords for the chorus. F, to D, D7, G minor, C, C 
minor, G minor, A, D. And I'm adding that little pattern on the D, just taking that finger off the E string, putting it back on the second fret and third fret. So, see what I'm doing there? By the way, that C minor chord is third fret of the A string and first fret of the D string. It's the same pattern, or it's the same grip, I guess, as the G minor. That's the G minor, that's the C minor, right? So, but you go from that C chord, to Tranquility Bass, right? Really nice little pattern there. Then to the A and that D. And those are the chords for the choruses of this song. Okay, and as you listen to the song, there are a few variations of this uh, throughout. The ending is a little bit different than the chorus I just showed you, but it's basically the same chord, so you just have to listen to it and see what order they are. All right, let's take a look at the mandolin solo played by Tommy Shaw now. It's really cool. It goes... Okay, we'll stop there, okay? I'll show you the first part first. By the way, it's played over the main verse patterns, all right? The G minor to F to D, and G minor F to D once again, all right? So what, what's Tommy Shaw doing? Well, he's going... He starts off with a, right? So from the low G, with a really quick, like that. So open, second, third. And third note on the G string is what you want to focus on here. So it goes, right? So twice on that note. Then you're jumping up to the open D, so. Open D, and then high G, all right, which is the fifth fret here. So, right, a really cool little minor pattern in the key of G minor, right? And then from there, he kind of does almost the same thing. He jumps up to a B flat note here, again, which is the third, the minor third of a G minor chord. So, and then from that, to the first fret of the A string, all right? Like that, so that first part again. Okay, so fifth here on the D string, open A and first fret on the A, so. Now Tommy Shaw does a little slide here, which I didn't do off the top of this uh, lesson, but you could do it, it goes, all right, so after you go, so what is that? Well, if you want to slide it, you can slide from the third fret of the A up to the fifth fret of the A, all right? Or you can play it conventionally like I did, just go. So that's the fifth fret here. Now all the way down to the first fret. So kind of a bit of a jump here, but so fifth fret, first fret, open, first fret, fifth fret. So, all right, so one more time. That time I slid. Okay. And then here's a really cool little part that's repeated a couple of times. All right, this part. Okay, so what is that? It's so it's open one five one like that one open one three. So here we go again quickly. Can you get that? Open one five one open one three. <laughs> and here's your next. This is the next note you want to focus on. The third fret of the A. So let's do the first part of that solo one more time. Okay, so now we're here. You're here on the third fret of the A, and then you want to go. So first, third, first, open, 
and third of the D string. Right? So one more time. Right? That's cool. And then you want to go to the fourth fret. Right? So there. So that's the fourth fret, fifth fret, and open A. All right? So one more time, that entire first part of the solo. And you do that again. So one, open A, one, five, one, open. Like that. Okay, that little, that little lick is uh, used a couple times in this, in this little solo. And you can even do, you can do a, you can do a tremolo on that uh, third fret note there, the C note. Okay. And then from that part, you jump up to the high string here. Okay. And uh, so that's all played off on the E string. Now, Tommy Shaw actually does some really nice double stops. Uh, I didn't really do all of them in my opening to this uh, lesson, but if you can get them, the double stops are really nice. So you want to go, you want to jump up to that third fret. That's your first note, third fret of the E. It's a G note, right? And then you go fifth fret, sixth fret. So, and then back fifth fret to third. Now, if you want to double stop that, you can. You can play that G minor chord. Right, you could do double stops there. A little difficult, but it's like that. First fret here, third fret. And now we got third fret here and fifth fret. Then we got fifth fret and sixth. And here, you go all the way up to this note here. Which is seven, which is the eighth fret of the E. So you're going there, and then come back like that. Okay. So one more time, let's double stop that from the G minor. So here, and I actually I do a little double stop like that. So it's the fifth fret and the eighth fret here from the 8th fret to the 6th fret. So one more time, let's take it from the... So you could double stop all of those. And... Like that. And then here I just use a single note on the 1st fret, right, of the E string. And to the 2nd fret of the E string. I love that little pattern from a, kind of a minor sound to a major sound and then you're going right that's third fret fifth fret third all right so one more time that really slowly on the double stop pattern okay from there it's just a descending g minor to an ascending G minor, all right? So, so third, first, open E, and then on the A string, five, three, one, and then down to the G, fifth fret of the D string, but now you're going back up again. So five, open, one, three, five, three, one. All right, so that goes like that. Okay, so one more time, let's take the entire solo here. All right, that is Boat on the River by Styx, a really great mandolin song, a really cool 
mandolin workout on that solo. If you can get it, I hope you can after watching this tutorial. Thanks very much for tuning in to RPM. Once again, we really appreciate your support. And if you're new to the channel, please check out some other videos. But first, hit that little subscriber button, that little red tab in the lower right corner. If you are a returning subscriber, thanks once again for your support. But please, if you can, check out our Patreon links down below and the Amazon links as well. My name is Mike Dijon. Thank you very much for tuning in to RPM once again.